Good evening. Sorry for the delay. We went over a little bit with the workshop this evening, but I do now call this meeting for the 26th day of July 2010. Uh, to order, public notice has been given and posted. Uh, Trustee Siri. First members of this board present at the meeting have read the official minutes of the Board of Trustees special meeting of June 29, 2010 and regular meeting of July 12, 2010. Now therefore be resolved that the Board approves the minutes as entered in the official minutes. Be it further resolved that the reading of the minutes be dispensed with. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Vote? Carried. Any reports this evening? Uh, no reports. Any correspondence? Uh, yes. A notice of petition and petition was received from Dave Bill of Properties, Inc. Regarding their assessment for their property located at Sally Aaron's James Place in the village of Fredonia. Whereas the village clerk has received a copy of the notice of petition and a petition from Dave Bill Properties, Inc. against the Board of Assessment Review for the Town of Pomfort and the Assessor of the Town of Pomfort and the Town of Pomfort for a review of assessment of certain real property known as Sally Aaron's James Place, SBL 11. 113.11-2-1, in the village of Fredonia for the 2000 tax year, 2010 tax year. Now therefore be resolved that the said notice and petition be forwarded to the town of Pomfret, the assessing authority for the village of Fredonia, requesting them to protect the interest of the village of Fredonia. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Carried. Correspondence was received from the secretary of the J.S. Lambert Hook and Ladder Company to transfer the name of Connor Purcell from the active role to the honor role effective immediately. Be it resolved that the name of Connor Purcell is hereby re transferred from the active role to the honor role of the J.S. Hook and Ladder Company effective immediately. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Carried. Correspondence was received from Police Chief Brad Myers requesting permission to use the West Barker Common, including gazebo, on March 3rd, 2010, from 5 to 9 p.m. for the purpose of hosting the 2010 National Night Out. Be it resolved that the request of Police Chief Bradley Myers to use the West Barker Common, including the gazebo, to close, to close Church Street between Park Place and Temple Street on August 3rd, 2010, from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. for the National 2010 National Night Out is hereby approved. Second. Aye. Aye. Correspondence was received from Melissa Thompson, Farm Festival Committee Chair, requesting the use of Barker Commons and various street closings from August 20th through the 22nd for the 42nd Annual Fredonia Farm Festival. Be it resolved that the request of the Fredonia Farm Festival Committee to use Barker Commons on August 20th through 22nd, 2010 for the 42nd Annual Farm Festival is hereby approved and be it further resolved that Center Street between Church Street and Barker Street be closed from 6 p.m. until 8 p.m. for a fireman's hose race on Friday, August 10, 2010 and Temple Street from Risley Street to Main Street be temporarily closed on Sunday, August 22, 2010 for the Annual Farm Festival Parade. And be it further resolved that the Fredonia Farm Festival may use the parking facility off Water Street August 19 to 22, 2010 to accommodate vendor or crafter cars and trailers. This will reduce the congestion on Park Street uh, on which no parking will be allowed and be it further resolved that Day Street between Main Street and Church Street will be closed on Saturday, August 21st, 2010 from 12 p.m. to 11 p.m. for Bill's Wild West Show, Carriage Rides, Hay Bale Toss, and Terry Buchwald and on uh, Sunday, August 22nd, 2010 from 12 p.m. to 7 p.m. for Sean Patrick McGraw and be it further resolved that the Police Department bag meters on Main Street in front of West and East Parks only on Thursday, August 19, 2010 after 4.30 p.m. and on Sunday, August 22, 2010 after 12 p.m. and bag two meters on Main Street in front of each park as handicapped parking only from 7 a.m. Friday, August 20, 2010 to 11 p.m. On, on Sunday, August 22, 2010 and be it further resolved that Church Street between Temple Street and Park Street and Temple Street to Day Street be closed from 4.30 p.m. Thursday, August 19, 2010, to 8 p.m. on Sunday, August 2, 22, 2010. Be it further resolved that the use of Village Hall basement level restrooms is hereby approved on the condition that the Farm Festival will keep and leave the facilities clean and stocked with toilet paper and paper towels. And be it further resolved that the Village Administrator is hereby authorized to write a letter to the Fredonia Farm Festival Committee stating that, that this board grants permission for use of the front half of Village Hall parking lot which is the first two rows, 
during this year's Farm Festival, and be it further resolved that the Village of Board request that Fredonia Farm Festival Committee comply with the following items. Number one, no vendors between the sidewalk and the curb along Route 20. Number two, the number of vendors is subject to the Board of Trustees receiving a plan showing the number and the location of the designated vendor spaces and to allow access to the water hookup August 19th through 22nd, 2010. Number three, no vendors shall sell distasteful adult items. Number four, trash will be picked up on and as needed uh, and, and on an as-needed basis and nothing left overnight. <coughs> Number five, walkways will not be obstructed. Number six, electrical wires will be properly protected to prevent accidents. Number seven, food vendors shall be located on Church Street in front of Village Hall between Day and Temple Streets. The vendors shall be situated in a U-shaped configuration and vendors may set up their booth after 4.33 p.m. Thursday, August 19, 2010. Arts, oh, number eight, arts and crafts vendors may set up their booths after 4.30 p.m. on Thursday, August 19th. And number nine, the use of Barker Commons by Farm Festival Committee shall not restrict the business activities of existing businesses within the village of Fredonia and be a further resolved that the above use of Barker Common and the street closings are subject to the direction of the Fredonia Police Department and the Department of Public Works and be a further resolved that the Fredonia Fire Department and the Fredonia Police Department be notified of the above <coughs> closings and be a further resolved that the <coughs> Resolution is subject to the receipt by the village of a certificate of insurance from the Fredonia Farm Festival showing the village of Fredonia as an additional insurer in the amount of at least $1 million. Before we have a second, uh, yeah. I think we were going to add 1130 to 1 for the parade up in the uh, first or the second resolved. Yep. Right. And in the next resolved, or two down, uh, 1230, 1230 on Saturday. And then with the use of the basement uh, level, be for handicap using Temple Street entrance, and we'll work out the details with them for that. Now we get to the page. We have a second. Second. All those in favor of the resolution as amended? Aye. 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 Opposed? Carried. Okay. All right, sir. Oh, <laughs> one. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, this is now the time and place for the public portion. Is anyone here to address the board? If so, please stand, state your name. Summer night, doesn't look like anybody ready to address us, so we'll go on to the resolutions. All right, we have the time. Whereas the Lake Erie Concord Grape Belt Heritage Area was recognized by the New York State Legislature as the state designated <coughs> heritage area on September 13, 2006, as a means to promote, develop, and preserve the unique historic cultural recreational and natural resources of the Lake Erie Concord Great Belt Corridor, and whereas the Commissioner of the Office of Parks, Recreation, and Historic Preservation is required to request the preparation of a comprehensive management plan for each designated state heritage area pursuant to Section 35.03 of the Parks, Recreation, and Historic Preservation Laws by a local planning commission, and whereas the Concord Great Belt Heritage Heritage Association was recognized within the act establishing the Lake Erie Concord Great Belt Heritage Area as the organization authorized to prepare or cause to be prepared a management plan pursuant to section 35.05 of the Parks, Recreation and Historic Preservation Law. And whereas the Town of Westfield secured grant funding on behalf of the Concord Great Belt Heritage Association to fund the completion of the Lake Erie Concord Great Belt Heritage Area Man Management Plan with the assistance of a planning consultant through New York State's Department of State Division of Coastal Resources under Title 11 of the Environmental Protection Fund. And whereas in 2009, the Concord Great Belt Heritage Association formed the Concord Great Belt Advisory Commission to act as the local planning commission and to assist with the completion of the Lake Erie Concord Great Belt Heritage Area Management Plan pursuant to section 35.05 of the Parks Recreation and Historic Preservation Law of New York State. And whereas the draft management plan completed by the Concord Great Belt Advisory Commission identifies a series of strategies and partnerships for communities in Chautauqua County for the preservation, education, recreation, and economic revitalization of their unique resources and for the implementation of programs and projects. And whereas the Concord Great Belt Advisory Commission held meetings within the proposed heritage area to inform the public 